What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to show you where you can get great healthcare data. Now, good healthcare data can be hard to find, but as I worked in healthcare for many years, I found really great websites that had fantastic data sets specifically geared towards healthcare. And so in this video, I'm gonna walk you through those exact websites where I got real data, as well as sample data sets just to practice and use healthcare data. Let's jump right into it and take a look. All right, so let's get started. Now, I'm gonna show you a ton of different websites. These are ones that I have used over the years just for healthcare data. And some of these are better than others, and I'll talk about the ones that I personally think are the best. And I'm actually starting out with one of the ones that I think is my personal favorite. And the reason for this is this is data.gov. And data.gov are real data sets from real counties and cities and even states or countrywide level. So for example, this one's from the US Department of Health and Human Services. Uh, let's see, we have one down here from the state of California. And all you have to do is I just search for healthcare. And they're going to come in here and they're going to give you a lot of different types of data. Now, you have to go through here and kind of find one that may be interesting to you. But these are 100% real data sets from real departments. You can even see they have these tags for county, federal, state, federal. And you can uh, filter on these, by the way. You can filter if you want a CSV, if you want it to be at the federal level, if you want certain organizations. This, to me, has been one of the best places to find very real data. And you'll know it's real because it's often very messy because the government is doing it. And so uh, that's just a little government joke in there for you. But I promise you, these are some of the best real data sets that you can possibly find. The only warning to this is sometimes they're very difficult to work with. And that is just my personal experience. I've worked with a lot of these data sets and some of them are very challenging. They're not all gonna be formatted perfectly for you and already cleaned up for you like you might get in something like Kaggle, which we're gonna take a look at in a little bit, but these are super real and have amazing data sets. Next one that we have is healthdata.gov. Now, when you kind of filter by data sets and you can filter by a lot of stuff, but this is just data sets, you can scroll through here and they have all sorts of different data, including things like COVID-19 treatment, different surveys that they've taken. And you can just scroll down and you can see tons of different ones. You can also search up here for different things. But this is another really good kind of government focused one where they're going to have these free data sets that are centered around healthcare. This next one is another personal favorite. This is Google Dataset Search. It's not just Googling something. It's an actual place within Google called Google Dataset Search. You can see it right here, datasetsearch.research.google.com. And within here, you can search for anything. I'm going to search for a diabetes uh, data set. I used to work with a ton of diabetes data sets. And it's not going to necessarily provide you the data set like right over here. But it's going to show you all these different locations where this data is located. So within Kaggle, which is another one we'll look at in a little bit, there's lots of different diabetes data sets. But if you find one that says like .gov or maybe even .eu, these are ones that could be, you know, really good data sets to use. So we have pediatric diabetes data, mass.gov. This might be one that I'm going to go and I'm going to click in. I'm going to look into it. I'm going to go in, check out the data, see if it's downloadable, all these different things. But you can save yourself a lot of time if you're looking for something very specific. You can just search it up here and it's going to help you find those different data sets. The next one that we're going to look at is another .gov one. This is data.cms.gov. So centers for Medicare and Medicaid services. Now, I went ahead and I just typed in diagnosis, just for an example. I want different diagnosis data sets. We have Medicare inpatient hospital. Uh, we have Medicare COVID-19 hospitalization trends. Uh, we have one for Medicare fee for service comprehensive error rate testing. There's a ton of different data sets in here. Um, and one thing I'll just kind of mention in here is that every kind of gov website has their specialty of data. So if you're looking for a specific type of data, Maybe you're going to go to one of these .gov websites instead of another one because they may not have diagnosis within uh, maybe the health data.gov, but they will within data.gov. So you just kind of have to search around a little bit to find the types of data that you're looking for. The next one that we're going to look at is Kaggle. And if you haven't been on Kaggle, Kaggle is amazing. I've gotten a ton of data sets from here. Kaggle, though, and I'm kind of it's kind of the opposite of data.gov. Kaggle is typically not really raw data. When I say raw data, I mean they just exported it right into a CSV and it is messy and it's dirty and it's real. It's real data. Whereas Kaggle typically is more curated. Some people have gone through and they've kind of cleaned it up and made it really easy to work with. 
which means it's a great place to start for beginners, but you're not going to get really real kind of messy data that you might be looking for. Um, so I just typed in pharmaceutical healthcare data, and there's a ton of different data sets in here. There's U.S. healthcare data, and it tells you when it was last updated. This is a long time ago. Um, but you can see a lot of different information, a lot of different data sets that you can download. And again, these are going to be a lot easier to work with. The next one that you can look at, and this is actually just kind of a, almost like a Google data set search. This is the Department of Health and Human Services Office of the Chief Data Officer. And this is open data. So this is all the open data inventories and APIs that they have. And you can go through here and you can search for different repositories and data sets and APIs that they have where you can go and you can work with real data. Now, an API is different than just a data set because a data set is something you can just download. An API is something that you have to connect to. You have to go and then request information, and then you pull it in using either their API service or some type of programming language. So that's going to be a little bit more advanced. If you haven't worked with APIs before, I have a whole video on how to work with APIs. You can just search Alex the Analyst API, and that should come up. But this is just kind of a all-in-one place to find different repositories and different uh, websites that can give you the data. The last thing I'm going to recommend, and you don't have to do this, but this is taking it a step beyond just working with data sets and CSV files. Something I mentioned in a previous uh, healthcare analyst video was working within an EHR system. Now, you don't have to be a doctor or a nurse to have experience or knowledge or working knowledge of what an EHR system looks like, how they actually record the information. You can download open source EHR systems. That's electronic health record systems. And so you can come through here and you can look at, I kind of peeked around in here because these are a lot of these are open source, but you can just download these onto your computer and you can put in patients and you can put in information. If you don't have experience working with EHR systems and you want to put it on your resume, which I highly recommend you do want to do, then here's kind of an open source free way to do that. And this just, you know, sets you apart. You have some EHR experience or knowledge at least uh, that you can talk about in an interview. So if they're saying, hey, have you ever worked with an EHR system? Yes, I have. You know, here's one that I've worked with. And you can say it's called Open EMR. I'm really comfortable, you know, using it and getting data out of it. And I understand kind of how these systems work. So I hope that that was helpful. I worked with so many data sets from those websites. I feel like those are kind of some hidden gems that most people may not have used before. They are fantastic places to get real healthcare data sets. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.